from 2 a.m. calls, uh, zero communication, yeah, we spent too long in heaven, yeah, we felt the elevation, things kind of different and we're not the same, does anything have to change, I got no trouble with my pride, got trouble caught in sight. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Jamie, if you are new, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow your girl on all social media. So, happy 2023, guys. We are back. We are back. And we are hoping and praying for a great, wonderful, fantastic, all positivity in this new year. Because last year was fire for me. Like, last year was peak. Like, last year was one of, like, my best years. So I'm hoping that 2023 understands that she has to show up and show out for your girl because I'm not taking anything less. So we are doing Try January and this is my fourth year doing it. Last year I slipped up a bit because I took a vacation in January and <sighs> what's the point of being on vacation if you're not going to drink? So I slipped up a little bit last year but usually I'm pretty consistent with like January to the first half of February like I'm not drinking like I usually don't have my first drink until like Valentine's Day or like that weekend so we are doing that again for this new year but I had no idea and leave them in the comments if you guys knew I had no idea that they had wine and liquor that's zero proof alcohol like no alcohol in it so today we're gonna be trying free yes it's called free alcohol removed wine so <laughs> I hope this is not like a little sparkling cider type of thing because it has Cabernet Sauvignon on it like I'm hoping like it tastes the same because if this is it <laughs> if this makes me feel good like clearly I know it's gonna be like a mental kick and it's not real alcohol but if this makes me feel good I might be having a kid sooner than I want to because one of my biggest things is wow I have to give up alcohol <laughs> for months months and months and months I don't think I'm gonna make it so <laughs> if this is good y'all might be seeing a pregnant me faster than the three years that I said so <laughs> enough rambling let us actually try free so this bottle is 12% juice. <laughs> it feels so weird having to describe a non-alcoholic alcohol. Like, if you're new to my channel, like, I'm usually like, oh, 12.5 of alcohol percentage, but there's no alcohol percentage, but there's juice. So a 12, a 12 isn't far off from what I normally would be drinking if it was like alcoholic content. So. Let's see. Let's 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 see. Okay. It's it smells like it. I mean, we might as well just fool this baby. Okay. Okay. I'm excited, guys, cuz it smells very Cabernet Sauvignon. -y. I know that's not a word, but whatever. It's it's giving me like ripe fruit like okay 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 I you see I'm so excited I forgot to tell you guys to go get your glass because what am I doing I'm just here drinking by myself but at the end of the day am I really drinking I'm not so if you guys are celebrating try January as well I will excuse you to have like some juice and soda or whatever it is that you fancy but <laughs> after this video I might need y'all to go buy this so let's go Cheers. No, there's no way this has no alcohol in it. So the ingredients are de-alcoholized Cabernet Sauvignon wine, grape juice, grape concentrate, natural flavors, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, and potassium metabisulfite. I, I probably butchered that word, but I was not a science major, clearly. But I'm thoroughly satisfied. Like, I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. And I'm very surprised that I'm not upset. Clearly it doesn't have like that dry aftertaste that like real wine would have. 
but I can see how it can be a substitute. Like I, I, I know in my heart that there's no alcohol in this. But I feel like if I didn't buy the bottle and like I didn't read it, like I just went to somebody's house and they gave me a glass, I would just be like, okay, this is like a light bodied red wine. It's not giving like the fullness of a real Cabernet, but it's giving me, I'm drinking. Like I feel like I can have this and be social, like a little dinner party, as I said, being the little pregnant wifey, I can, I can see myself walking around with this glass and feeling included in like the drunk socialism but clearly I'm the only sober one. But, this crap is good. For the rest of this month, I'm gonna be trying different like alcohol removed wines or even like just regular alcohol because I was reading somewhere that they have a de-alcoholized tequila. <laughs> tequila, with no real tequila in it. Am I just drinking like the good part of the agave, well, the good part of the agave is the tequila. But you get my point. Like, is this gonna be real life? Did I turn the leaf? Am I supposed to be a sober baddie? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I don't even know why I lied to myself like that. But this is really good. I feel like I can taste all the hints of things that were in like the actual cab wine before they took out like the alcohol. And I also want to look up how it is that they take out the alcohol. So comment down below as well if you guys want me to do like a video explaining how they do take out the alcohol. Because as soon as I'm finished filming this video, I'm about to go research that because this don't taste like no regular grape juice. It doesn't. Like, it has notes picked up on the tongue. As I said, it's lighter than an actual cab. I may have to go look and see like how a Pinot Noir does or a Merlot or a Malbec. I know that this brand has a sparkling brood because I bought it for New Year's. So let me go see if Vivino has anything to say about this because technically it's not wine. Okay guys, so I actually found it on Vivino but it's not ranked highly at all. It has a 2.4 out of 5 rating and it's only a 23% match for me which I can completely understand because they're judging it based off of all of the other things that like I've scanned before that I've rated before so they're probably looking like why is she drinking this like <laughs> does she not remember who she is this is not her at all they said the average price is 10 bucks I spent $11.99 on this so only a two dollar difference from the average so I'm perfectly fine with that. It's from California and the grapes are of Cabernet Sauvignon variety. And for the alcohol content, it is 0.2%. So technically, it's not completely, you know, alcohol free, but 0.2%. You have more alcohol in kombucha than you have in this wine. So its taste characteristics are closer to bold, closer to tannic, in the middle of dry and sweet, which I completely agree, and it's slightly more acidic than I usually would have, but I'm okay with it. Like, I'm not mad at it at all. The notes that people talk about are cherry, pomegranate, red fruit, black fruit, plum, blackberry jam, balsamic, smoke. I don't taste any smoke. I don't smell any smoke either. Like, the fruity notes I got, the balsamic, I guess that little hint of acidity, but it's not strong, it's not powerful, it's not something where I'm like, ugh, I taste it. So, I'm good. And then, just like your regular red wine, it pairs well with beef, lamb, poultry, and gamey meats, like deer and venison. So, yeah. So guys, that is the end of this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow your girl on all social media. Join me in this dry January. That might turn into a dry February. That might just turn into a dry life. Why do I like to lie to you guys and myself this much? Like, it's not gonna happen. But that's why I have to tell myself to get through 31 days. And everybody knows that January lasts about two years. So, <laughs> 
we're gonna be stocking up a lot on this and I'm gonna be trying a bunch of other brands if I can find them so yeah raise your glasses and let's cheers to 2023 having our way I know I hate that saying <laughs> but having an amazing year cheers time to chug and now I'll see you guys in my next one